and thank you very much for joining us this morning too. Uh, thank you very much for giving me the pleasure to come and the issue. Mm. And I hope you're well. Oh, I'm quite well. Mm. Uh, those who are worried about the fact that the widow is granting an interview and are raising issues about how culture operates, especially in the uh, within the Asante contest, do they have a case? Oh, good morning. Once again, to our cherished witness, and then uh, I thought I was going to speak in chief, but uh, if you initiated the uh, Uibo language, I will do so. Uh, you know, within the Akan culture, a wife and a husband are supposed to live in the same room. And when let's say the man passes away, the family immediately comes to lock the door because of some rituals that must be performed. Especially as you believe that while somebody dies, the person is still alive. And it takes a period for the soul to leave the room and the house. So if you allow the woman to stay in the room, something may be for her which may not be palatable because of the differences between the living and the dead. The here and the here after. So the family comes to pick their daughter. And the man's family will now lock the door until a period let's say one week in those days that you expect to do the one week remembrance and then after the remembrance then the next morning the woman will come for the family her family you see in our time we don't marry individuals we marry family so the funeral belongs to the family either the male or the woman, and therefore, virtually, the other side does not have any direct influence on the courts. So, taking, let's say, Honorable Jokuma, for example, it is the existing family that Jokuma belongs, who will be doing the uh, ritual, will be now be in charge of the courts and therefore, subsequent preparation for the funeral. While the family of the wife will now keep their daughter waiting for whatever the Okuma family will be saying, and whatever the demand of the family of the woman to perform. And when the woman goes to her home, she doesn't come. In fact, in those days, because they don't want you to talk, they will go and pluck some meat and then come and put it just on your mouth. Uh, eventually, they will remove it when there's the need to. But you don't talk. You find yourself in your family house and your immediate family members will be taking care of you. So for the woman to be going and then talking about the funeral, that is wrong. Before, because the funeral, the cost does not belong to her. The cost belongs to the family of the deceased. And to also go about talking will also be very, very bad because you are breaking tradition. So if there are any rituals to be performed or any secret between you and the husband and everything, you'll be working. It means you'll be getting the wrath of the man's soul and the family of the man. They have nothing to do with it. So you'll be actually treating the wrath that comes with it. So traditionally, I have just uh, given it in the short part. The woman should be with her family, kept in confinement, and they will be advising her as to what to do. The family will be consulting the woman's family 
ask what they demand from the leading family and on and until the final funeral that they will go and now open the room that the men and the women were sitting together for the woman to tell the woman family the property of the man both in the room and in the house and then outside and then they will know what to do with it so in a nutshell that is the traditional aspect as far as my people are concerned so at this stage she's not even supposed to open her mouth to have conversations within her own family home not talk yes. less of granting yes. interviews yes because once somebody dies uh it becomes a matter of family to family so you if your family wants you to be talking you talk to do who matter either they will separate or the one who has been designated to do that uh-huh. But you don't talk even to the old family members who are not in a circle. They may go and tell their uh, friends or whatever in that that, hey, this is what happened. Though. No. Because it becomes a secret. Especially as you have the belief that when the man dies, they think the woman who have killed the man. Normally, it is not the river. Because the man can be two or three. So once the man dies, they become incumbent of the woman to keep quiet. You know. So these are some of the things that are very, very necessary. Uh, the woman is just going around granting interviews here and there. It is not traditional. It is not cultural. Mm. Uh, uh, in this kind of situation, for example, in this situation where there are questions being raised about the cause of death, if anybody is supposed to respond to it, who from the family should be talking? There was a penny or somebody who has been designated to do that. Because some of the family are not so eloquent. So within the family, they want to get somebody who is very eloquent and can talk. So as to not to uh, disgrace the woman, neither the family from where the woman comes from. Or the family from where the man comes from. So somebody who can talk on behalf of the woman to preserve her family as well as preserving the family of the deceased. Because if you do that and you start a, a, a punching thing with uh, the man, then you bring the two families to war and that will be too bad. Hmm. So she could have uh, somebody from her family side, the Busi yeah. opinion, or somebody nominated by the Busi opinion, could have said this things on her behalf. No, you don't need to say anything. You see, you wait for one week, remember, and after that, you wait for the funeral, and then whatever. While the doctors could be doing their own investigation, their family could, could also be doing their own investigation spiritually, within the context of our culture. That's why I said that to win the coup, no? somebody kill the person. And then they will go and consult the oracle and what not, and what not. No. Now, I was reading something that Prophet Bebe could be saying that he knows who killed him. In the spiritual realm, it has nothing to do with our tradition. It has nothing to do with medicine. So the woman is opening a whole lot of cans which will bring speculation to ask you exactly what kind the woman. We are saying it's cancer from the woman. Somebody say it is poison from Samaru uh, today, eight. So which one is it? That's why we seal the mouth so that you don't talk, so to speak, by heart and say that are uh, not true or not true. Once you are bereaved, then you are in pain. So you think about the Lord. And if there are children, you put the children together and then massage them. No, so you don't just go about abandoning uh, a jitu and then you are running, ranting in a car and whatever. It is all not, not cultural. Can you, can you decide not to follow this uh, uh, culture because she's an apostle? 
So she wants to say that she never married in the traditional way. An apostle. Then why does he go and start before the pulpit and then start talking about the cause of the uh, husband uh, to the church? I see. I see. Um, uh, let me conclude then by asking you uh, what the implications of the steps she has taken are. Well, it is left between her family and uh, Honorable uh, Kumar's family. If they are going to allow her to be pocket to wash their dirty linen in public, then it's left to them. But the Kumar's family must call the lady to order and call the family of the lady or not. You see, otherwise, she will continue doing that. And the speculation will be increasing, especially after the day that she's interested in the food. You know? So, please, the family of the Okuma must call the family of the lady apostle to order. Nana, thank you very much for speaking to us this morning. I'm grateful for giving me the chance. Thank you very much. Nana Osei PNC Anto explaining uh, the culture, how it's supposed to operate. I